hello uh, today we will be demonstrating how to take an inhaler or the medicine which is supposed to go inside your lungs now there are a lot of medications available for your health of the lungs and one of the most common thing that we use is the inhalers now inhalers come in many forms there are nebulizations and the most common thing that we come across is the meter dose inhalers or pressurized meter dose inhalers or known as MDI. This is another form of an inhaler which is known as a dry powder inhaler. So I will be demonstrating what is an MDI and what is a DPI or a dry powder inhaler. This is a meter dose inhaler and this is a dry powder inhaler. Now first of all, how to take a meter dose inhalers. I won't be demonstrating how to take a nebulization because all of us will be well versed with this. Now how to take a meter dose inhaler. This comes lot handy because we will have to use it on our own. Now we can take an inhaler directly through your, through your without a spacer device or with the aid of a spacer device. Now this is known as a spacer device. Now what is a spacer device? I will be explaining. The aim of taking the meter dose inhaler is that the medication should reach your lungs while you are inhaling. So the medicine is available in this canister. Now it is not all alone in this canister. It comes along with a HFA or a hydrofluoroalkane which is the propellant which the main function of the propellant is to push the medicine. So before taking the inhaler, the first thing you have to do is always check whether it is viable. Second thing, shake the medicine. Before using the inhaler, always shake the medicine so that the propellant get mixed with the medicine. So once the propellant get, gets mixed with the medicine and the third thing is when you are pressing, the medicine will come out. So this is what happens. This is the mechanism of a meter dose inhaler. Now how to take it? Now most of us will be taking, shaking the medicine and before taking the medicine we will be putting it in, in the mouth. Second thing, you will have to press the canister and third thing, you will have to inhale it. Now ideally most of us won't be having <coughs> a particular uh, ideally this is not the better way to take it without a spacer. Now what I would suggest is that what we would suggest is you want to have the maximum deposition of medicine coming into your lungs. So the best, better thing is always use a spacer. Now this is a spacer device. Now what is the advantage of using a spacer device? What is the advantage of using an MDI with, with a spacer device and how is it different from using an MDI without a spacer device? The first and foremost uh, advantage is that the drug wastage will be reduced. Most of us we must have seen, we must have gone through like when we are taking the MDI without a spacer, uh, we may feel the medicine is going inside but most of us, most of the medicine will be through fumes will be uh, disintegrating outside. Most of the medications will be deposited, deposited within your oral cavity and less than 5% of the medicine will be going inside your lungs. So in order to increase the level of deposition or the percentage of deposition, you can use a spacer. The second advantage of using a spacer is the only most common, only thing that you can expect as, as a side effect from an MDI is once it gets deposited, you can have local side effects like hoarseness of voice, throat ache, sore throat and all. So you can avoid that or that thing also with a spacer. So this is how to use an MDA with a spacer. Shake the medicine, insert the medicine or the in, uh, MDA in the port where in the spacer where you can attach the MDA. Now the third thing, before inhaling the medicine, always make sure, always better take the medication while you are standing or sitting never take the medication while you are lying down. So shake the medicine, insert it in the area uh, attached, area which is suited for the MDA to get attached. 
and before inhaling always make sure you breathe out <sighs> exhale first then insert the mouthpiece into your mouth so i am not using this is a common thing which is available in the department so i don't want to keep my mouth so i am using a uh, a mouthpiece along with it so i shake the medicine inserted it and i fix the mouthpiece into my mouth now before inhaling always make sure you exhale first the moment i press the canister i started inhaling now this is what sh what should happen press the canister the medicine will come inside your spacer spacer device and take deep slow inspirations at least 5 to 10 times i'll demonstrate it once more hold the breath for at least 2 to 5 seconds exhale completely into it so this is the steps shake the medicine insert it into the pot attach your mouthpiece uh, keep the mouthpiece and before inhaling make sure you exhale everything exhale your breath out keep it in your mouth press the canister deep slow breaths take a deep breath hold for at least 2 to 5 seconds and exhale deeply now for one press in the canister at least 5 to 10 times you have to take a deep breath hold the breath and exhale and second press now this is what happens you take a uh, press once deep inhalation hold the breath for 2 to 5 seconds and deep exhalation now this is the uh, mechanism of how to take an inhaler through an mdi now the second most common thing that we come across is the dpi the dry powder inhaler now this is also a device now here what we do is the medication does not come in the form of fumes here the inhaled medication or the medicine which is supposed to go into your lungs comes in the form of a capsule and this capsule will be having the drug in the powdered form here it is not in the powdered form it is in the aerosol form and here it comes in the powdered form the powdered form drug insert into the pot or different uh, dry powder inhaler uh, instruments have different pots this is the most common thing which comes now in in insert the drug into the pot and once you rotate the drug gets bro broken so that the powder will get disintegrated into the chamber now what happens here is now the difference between taking a deep breath through a dry powder inhaler as the dry powder inhaler foam and the mdi foam is different here we i demonstrated that you should take the breath deep and slow but here how you have to take the breath it should be in fast and deep hold the breath for at least 2 to 5 seconds and exhale so, so this is what happens take a deep breath fast and deep hold the breath for at least 2 to 5 seconds and exhale 